Today's IPCC report is an atlas of human suffering and a damning indictment of failed climate leadership. With fact upon fact, this report reveals how people on the planet are getting clobbered by climate change. Nearly half of humanity is living in the danger zone now. Many ecosystems are at the point of no return now. And checked carbon pollution is forcing the world's most vulnerable on a frog march to destruction now. The facts are undeniable. This abdication of leadership is criminal. The world's biggest polluters are guilty of arson on our only home. But according to current commitments, global emissions are set to increase almost 14% over the current decade. That spells catastrophe. But the remotest part of the planet has also attracted massive interest from one of the biggest global industries, mining. I can see the fire of the land domination flying over the harvest, losing nexus, splitting into that zone. Swollen rivers, including the Rhine, the Meuse and the R, have swept through towns and villages, destroying homes, leaving many stranded. to our predation, apart from the fish quotas fixed by scientists. But who can prevent us from exceeding them? Profits hit an eight-year high in 2021. It was boosted as oil and gas... Yeah! 
climate risk hotspots, deaths from floods, droughts or storms were 15 times higher than those in more resilient countries over the last decade. This is climate injustice, particularly for indigenous people and local communities. And all of this and more at only 1.1 degrees Celsius of global warming. <laughs> In no small part to Exxon's efforts, U.S. lawmakers did not take serious action to fight climate change. Africa has been responsible for less than 4% of the emissions, but it is by far the most vulnerable region to the effects of climate change. whale is stranded, starving to death. If the team leave it, it will drown. It cannot eat because its stomach is full of plastic. <laughs> Oh, 
business interests have been allowed to override sites of significance to either indigenous populations or indeed of environmental importance. It's not <laughs> All the extra marine life that is caught along with the targeted animals is called bycatch. These creatures are often discarded overboard, dead or dying. <laughs> effectively authorizes uh, the oil and gas companies to start drilling and producing their products on federal lands. Now... of climate change is already very real for villagers on an island in northern Alaska. They're being forced out of their homes because of rising sea levels. <laughs> disaster. 
alarming news that the Amazon is now a net contributor of carbon dioxide and that it is perilously close to a tipping point beyond which it cannot recover. 420 million hectares deforested since 1990. The largest of the continents. 90% of that was tropical. Biodiversity and climate shock resilience. Climate adaptation, change mitigation. Each life form immeasurable in a measurable system. Each life form immeasurable in a measurable system. 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 Every year they calculate the date in which we will use up all the resources the planet is capable of naturally renewing over the entire year. That day is referred to as Earth Overshoot Day. Today we marvel at the big tech companies, not because of their ability to reinvent and remain relevant, but because of their ability to avoid paying taxes. Well, as energy prices and bills continue to surge, the British energy giant Shell has announced record profits of <coughs> more than £7 billion, <coughs> pounds, over $9 billion. <coughs> Politicians decide what is best for the city, the Olympics, a new police training facility, or whatever business measure is on the table today. Not to mention that, like, uh, during the 96 Olympics, they, like, specifically built Atlanta City Detention Center for the for a uh, place to put houseless people who had been sweeped off the streets and, like, criminalized them. And, and during the George Floyd uprising in 2020, that was reused to... Uh, as detainments and overnight stays for protesters who are like going to get low bail just as a form of repression. It is regularly used against, like that uh, jail is regularly used specifically against protesters and isn't used for anything else. It is a like absolute scar on the face of humanity. <laughs> Fire in 
exceeds 1.5 degrees Celsius and may not be possible in some regions, including small islands, deserts, mountains, and polar regions if warming exceeds 2 degrees Celsius. The science is clear. Any further delay in concerted global action will miss a brief and rapidly closing window to secure a livable future. future, 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 future.